What's happening? This is Bone Sickle, and this is a video of how I made my Blue Skull Avatar custom ship in Resogun, uh, which obviously is not like the most stellar creation or whatever. So please don't misunderstand. The video is not like I'm bragging, like, oh, look what I made. You know, um, I just had fun making this and thought I would have fun posting a video talking through uh, what I did. To come up with this because I actually made this uh, pretty much exact same thing in 3D Dot Game Heroes for the PlayStation 3, which I own and played long, long ago, Maximum. years ago when it first came out. So uh, basically, what I did for for both times here is um, I know that this box particularly is a 21 by 21 by 21 pixel grid and. Uh, I got some graph paper and drew three 21 by 21 square boxes and uh, sketched out a skull basically from like face on. I just drew it like I wanted it to look and then I, you know, traced out the um, actual squares that the lines went through basically uh, to get a pixelated version of that. and. Uh, did three boxes because I had one looking like straight on at the face, one looking at the profile, and one looking straight down. So now all I'm doing is just basically recreating uh, box by box the straight on view of the face of the skull right here. And there is a nice feature on here where you could do mirror so you can, uh, whatever you're doing on the right hemisphere of the picture duplicates to the left and uh, I didn't realize that at first so I kind of wasted some time um, just kind of filling this in but now I've got a straight on view of the face filled in pretty much like I want now I'm working on the profile at which point I realized that the uh, teeth needed to be forward further the one thing um, you would want to do you know trying to draw a picture on graph paper from the front and the side and the top is at least to make sure that everything kind of lines up make sure that the eyes uh, nose and teeth line up from the front facing view to the side facing profile view so now I'm just basically repeating that process though and like drawing the outline of the profile uh, to match what the graph paper says that it should and then once I finish that I will uh, fill that in once again also and then do um, the top down view actually kind of uh, goofed up here a few times somehow so it, it took a while but uh, like I said for the most part I had fun making this I like games that give you you know really deep um, customization options like this a lot of people don't take the time to go through them. and then some people take like an immense amount of time you know there are some creations that are um, you know like top voted uh, for the uh, community thing on there they're just I mean blow my mind like oh my god that's awesome how did you make that out of you know such tiny pixels um because they don't give you a lot to work with here but here I am trying to do the uh top down view which I found to be the most frustrating because uh the editor right here it lets you pan around all of the uh horizontal planes fluidly exactly like you would want to but I found that when trying to look up or down on the uh, vertical axis uh, you could not get a very good view and it also made uh, maneuvering the blocks kind of difficult so anyway now I've pretty much got a framework right here I've pretty much got the outline of all three viewing angles created and so at this point it's just basically about filling in these uh, three axes of planes or whatever and then adding pixels from the inside out and stopping when I think I've you know kind of got it filled in so this is the top back quadrants of the skull and as you can see now I am utilizing the uh, mirror option that they give you to Cut my work in half and make things go a lot faster and a lot smoother and drive club will be coming out in a few days 
as of the time that I am making this video. I'm really looking forward to that, highly anticipated. Although I am a little bit anxious about the, the way the driving mechanics are because personally I prefer like Burnout and Criterion's Need for Speed games. Um, so I'm not really sure how the cars are going to handle in relation to that. But we shall see. And I've got the top back of the skull pretty much fleshed out. I wish it looked, you know, more round. But, you know, once again, this is very amateurish. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm satisfied with the way it turned out overall. So here is the front uh, cerebral cortex, frontal lobe area of the uh, skull, I guess, maybe. I don't know. And this is basically just how I like to fill it out. You know, um, obviously this is very, very edited down. This took probably a lot longer than I would like to admit to do uh, from start to finish. But, yeah, I don't know why I enjoyed it. Now I could play Rezo Gun with my own Blue Skull Bonehead uh, custom ship, which I enjoy. Game's pretty cool. I have not put uh, too much time into it. Um, I do probably plan to work towards a Platinum, but I'm not in a rush. I've been really enjoying Warframe since I got the uh, PlayStation 4 very recently. Late to the party, I know. But that's okay. So now here I am filling in the uh, vertical plane down towards the mouth area, add in some, some jaw work, give him some cheekbones, and uh, close in those orbital uh, areas. You see I have some really deep wells for the uh, eyes. I wanted to fix the uh, section down here on the bottom, even though you probably won't see the bottom of the ship too much. And I'm going to end up wishing that I would have probably painted the uh, palette of the top jaw black. But uh, I could probably go back and do that with, you know, future editing or whatever. But I uh, did not do it in my first draft of this first draft. So that's okay. But I do paint the uh, nose and eye holes black. To give it some depth and I think that looks a lot better and yeah Warframe is, is, is pretty awesome and even with the nice backlog of PlayStation Plus games that I've been accumulating over the last year still find myself playing just free to play stuff so I'll wait and see if I spend money on the full version of Drive Club after I try the free PlayStation Plus version but I did paint black um, forward from the depths of these eye sockets here and then I decided to uh, add a little red dot kind of glowing eye way back and that's kind of why I made these um, eye holes so deep because I really did want to give a good sense of depth just in case it was ever noticed. And when it came time to edit the uh, stats of the ship, I decided to give it no um, overdrive because there are trophies in the DLC for like beating a level with a ship with no overdrive and then one for using a ship with no boost and one for, for no agility, blah, blah, blah. And if you own Resogun, that DLC pack is free. So you can do all of this. I should have gotten a trophy right there for actually um, submitting it. I mean, I did get a trophy, but I don't know, it doesn't record the trophy popping on the PS4 or whatever. But anyway, Armageddon, thanks a lot for watching. Armageddon.